Okay, um, just about five minutes ago we were feeding Bubba and I showed you how to put her leash on and I said we were going to go put her in the back hall near the back door so that she could go poop because this is where I was going to want to have her pooping if she was in the house. So I've done this once or twice before. Um, I've now fed her and I brought her back to this area and I put her down and I'm just going to show you now what's happened. I put her down and I said, okay, Bubba, go poo, Bubba, go poo. And I heard the leash moving and lo and behold, now beware people because this might get gross. It will get gross because I'll show you a poop. Now here we have Bubba's poop. I put her back here and I said, okay, Bubba, go poo, go poo, go poo. And there she did it. And then I said, oh, what a good girl, what a good girl. So there's her poop. Now you can see there's not a lot of water there. It's wet. It's not, it's not bone dry. It's formed. Okay, there's the white urate and her poop. And there's Baba with her leash on checking out the bathroom. Okay, and now I'll, I'll let her stay in this area for a few minutes, but usually once they poop, they go away from it and they go someplace else. So I'm going to now pick her up and bring her back into the living room with me. She can look out the window for a little while. Then we'll put her in her viv. Okay? I just wanted to update you folks. You can train your beasties and your beardies, I should say, <laughs> to poop inside the house in specific areas. It does take consistency over at least a two-week period. Okay. Bye.